you are lately writing a lot of blogs or you are optimizing a lot of pages on your website but are you struggling with indexing yes being an SEO expert the answer might be obvious yes you are experiencing an indexing problem and this is not only yours let me tell you thousands of SEO experts from all over the planet is facing an indexing issue because uh, indexing is not an instantaneous thing that can happen in in a blink of a second uh, yes you can request the index now feature from google search console but once again uh, there remains no clear clarity on when that would be indexed sometimes this can get indexed in 24 hours sometimes we have seen uh, it also takes up to a week or even a month to get certain things indexed so today in this video we will be sharing a secret technique by which you can take the help of python to utilize the google indexing api and you can index your entire website in blink of a second okay so today i'm going to show you how to actually uh, like do google indexing through an api like using the google indexing api and python so as you know like api stands for application programming interface is it basically acts as a bridge between two software programs so that they can communicate to each other and share data so some of the pre prerequisites to performing this action is that you have to install python anaconda on windows mac you have to have a google developer console account and you like you need to have like set up all the billing details on the account it is optional however it is always recommended that you set up your billing account otherwise google prompts you to uh, like enter your billing details again and again now let's go to the google developer console dashboard you can uh, like enter the url that you see on the screen uh, go to the select a project and new project and create your own project right now then you have to you know simply give the name of the project and the folder that you want after the after you have successfully created like given the name of the project just hit on end like you know create a new project so after that what you have to do you have to come back to the google cloud dashboard and then you have to select apis and services from there you have to select the credentials option just follow on the steps that i have mentioned over here and you will be just fine create a new set of credentials uh create service accounts uh, give the name of the service accounts along with the id and a description of why you are creating this account basically gives just give your objective that is you know we you want to index your urls just hit create and continue after that like you like you have to uh, like give which kind of roles that you want to give to the this account so basically you are the owner of this account so select owner after you uh, then grant the permission uh, to yourself that you want to give after that like uh, you know you have to like you will be giving a particular uh, you know id uh, like email id from which you, like you can add this email id to the google search console property so go, so what it does is that it creates a dummy user for google uh, which you can add to your google search console from where it like it can gather the data of google search the google developer tools can gather data from google search console by imitating itself as a dummy user so now you have to copy the email address that is mentioned over here uh, then go to keys and add the key that you have just uh, you know entered so go to the keys create new key uh, click like click on json ld and then you have to uh, the, then you have created a new private key for your computer you have to download the private key file now let's uh, move on to the api section that is we have to click on the hamburger button that is over there click on apis and services and go to library now let's uh, let's give a name to the library you can give any name i for this purpose i have given the name indexing api then you have to select the google indexing api product that google has already rolled out recently uh, then hit on enable to enable the indexing api for your uh, particular project then you have to go back to the google search console option and from there click on settings go to users have permission and remember that the the dummy user that you created in google like developer tools you have to add that user as a uh, to your google search console right now so in the email address uh, just paste the email address that you copied earlier and then hit on add the new dummy user will be added to your google search console section now uh, we have to end like you know go into the python details so uh, like for python you have to open the anaconda console Go to Anaconda and uh, and write. I start writing some the the following codes that is pip install 
uh, you have to install Panda and Oath2 client because this will be necessary. These are the main libraries from which you will be invoking the you know indexing API. So as you can see, you can give this particular code numbers. I'll just skip through the coding so you can just pause the screen and uh, like follow the process along. So after you have uh, you know entered the like and like 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 entered the first two codings done, then what you have to do is that you have to check the present indexing status of uh, like in your google search console uh, sorry search serp so what you have to do you have to run a site crawl command in the serp section and right now you have seen that for this particular type of website right now the google is has only crawled 16 web pages now let's see if we can change that or not so uh, keep the number that you have uh, uh, like also check some of the key pages that you want to index now go to the python code and uh, like you know uh, like scrape all the pages url that you want to uh, like include like that you want to be indexed so if you are an, if you have developed a new website you can just run a scroll on skimming frog and, and export all of the urls from there so that you can uh, like index them in bulk or what you can do is that if you have you know just now uh, like entered three four new blogs that is become live in the website you can just put on you can just copy the URLs of those blogs into a different spreadsheet like this. Now what you have to do is that you have to create a folder consisting of three files. It will consist the API details.json data and the indexing.py code. I will give the indexing.py like, like, like py python code file in the like, like, like descriptions below. Then you have to go like run the python code with the for, like that you have just uh, you know invoked so you can invoke the code by using indexing.py as the command as the main command after you, uh, like you invoke the indexing.py file you can see that python has already started to execute the code and all of the like, like urls that we have mentioned in the spreadsheet that uh, like that is in the indexing.py file is getting it like indexed in google so after the process has been executed you can see that previously we have shown that the fact page was missing from the google search console but now if you like after the process has been done you can see the fact page has been instantaneously indexed in google so uh, we had so as so, so, so as you can see this is the most instantaneous way to uh, to index any url uh, in google if you like if you try to index a url from google search console it may take 24 hours it may take days but as you can see uh, from i have also mentioned the dates and times in the like in the template that just before we did we did not had the fact page in google for the other day but after running the call but, but after running the program after running the process immediately the fact page was been indexed and you can see the result in the screen so this is how the Google indexing works. You can index thousands of URLs at once through this indexing API. So yeah, as you can see, Google's uh, uh, like indexing API is really the fastest way to uh, you know index all URLs that you have in your uh, like, uh, like like in your website. It is it, it can actually be used to index backlinks as well. So if you are you know doing Web 2.0 submissions or you, like if you are doing entity stacking or using Google properties to create backlinks to your website, you can actually index those links as well. So you can use the same method of uh, like of, of of the indexing API to index backlinks as well, which is a very powerful te like technique you can index thousands of backlinks in one go that is the power of indexing api i hope it helps see you in the next video